Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Ty Larius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. In this video, I'm going to be going over the long fin prep mission. Yes, this is the approach vehicle for the Cayo Perico heist. And I know a lot of people like to use the submarine, but I want to show you guys a few ways and the most efficient way that I found to get the long fin. It's really easy setup, really easy prep mission. And I want you guys to try and use the long fin. It really is a great way. It's arguably the best way to approach the Cayo Perico Island because it allows you to approach the island really any way you want to. You can go to any one of the docks, the airport, you can go straight to the drainage tunnel if you want to. And it also allows you to collect your secondary loot first which allows you to leave the island much quicker when you're getting done with the heist. It really helps out with the elite. And you guys have seen me use this method on my broadcast a lot, all right? So first things first, let me go ahead and go over a few things with you here. Uh, when you get to the location where the long fin is held, it's being held by some police, you want to call in your phantom wedge. Yes, I highly recommend that you buy a phantom wedge. You don't need one, but I do recommend you get one for this. Go ahead and set your waypoint right there at that location at the dock down there. Go ahead and then send your sparrow back. Or if you use a Mark II, that's fine. You can just easily call the Mark II. Um, you know, that's fine. But if you're using a sparrow, you know, go ahead and send it back to your sub so you can call it back much quicker when you get done with this, all right? Go ahead and armor up if you need to, eat some snacks just to help out. And don't forget to duck while, you know, or if you're being shot at, okay? So now there's a couple of different police stations where the long fin will spawn at, but it's pretty much going to be the same. You take your uh, phantom wedge, just back it on up into the location, all right? It definitely is going to be better if you back, you know, if you have to get some practice with this, go ahead and do that. But you want to back your, uh, <laughs> your phantom wedge up to the actual boat. And then you've already got your waypoint set to the dock. It's going to be the same delivery spot every single time. All right. And you're good to go. Again, duck if you're getting shot at, you know. But if you do this good or if you do this correctly, you'll be in and out in no time at all. But duck and then, you know, pay attention to your health and armor if you need to and put some more on. Or right? eat some snacks and put some, you know, some armor on. And you're good to go. And this mission is so much fun. The Phantom Wedge is a blast to drive around in this mission. All right, you can just barrel through the vehicles, <laughs> throw them around. And this setup really doesn't take any time at all from start to finish. It's about five, maybe six minutes tops. It really is, does not take that much time. And again, I know a lot of people like the submarine. You'd stick to that mission if you want to. But if you're getting kind of bored and burnt out, try something a little bit different. And this is really a great way to approach the heist. It's really my favorite. And like I said, it's arguably the best way to approach the heist, even better than using the submarine. Because with the sub, you you have to go right to the drainage tunnel. I mean, you're right there. When you use the long fin you are able to go wherever you want to on the map and you have a boat that you can use and get in. And the long fin is a little weird to control and handle, but it's definitely very fast. You can get around really quick. And like I said, you guys have seen me use this on my live streams and my broadcast time and time again. It is my preferred method because like I said, I can get my secondary loot first and then get into the compound, take the primary and then just exit out the side you know, and just ride a dirt bike off into the water, or you can, you know, snipe a guard out in a little boat and drive the boat out too. Gives you options. It gives you choices. You're not limited. And as a solo player, I like to be able to find out where, you know, the Coco is and get the Coco, max my money out, and get the Elite Challenge that way. It's really fun. Now, when you get to the dock, if you still have the cops on you because you can't call them off, what I found that works the best is I just run right over here to the side of this little warehouse is and hide by this, you know, pile of wood right here. And there's a couple of things you can do. You can either just sit here and chill or you can go into your inventory, go to style and just put on a pair of glasses, the black winter shades and your star will drop down to two. You saw that right there, but don't change it. Don't take it off or change it because your stars will go back up to three. But that definitely helps out. But honestly, you can just chill and hang out over here. You know, I've only been seen by the cops twice since I've done this on this side. And that's really because they were right on my tail when I parked and got over here. I mean, they were already out of their cars. But, you know, as you see, they come right up to you and then you just end up waiting them out. This is my preferred method. I don't have to jump in the water. If you jump in the water, the patrol boats will come after you. There's other little places, you, but this is really the quickest way to do it. And again, you can just change the glasses real quick. It drops you down from three to two stars and you're good. Now I'm going to show you a few other little methods or little tricks 
in case you're not using the uh, you know or if this doesn't particularly work for you at the very end you know just hiding out underneath that uh, that little warehouse right there or that pile of wood all right so you see we got that done I mean it took about five minutes to get it done from start to finish no big deal real simple real easy and you can call in your spare and go right back to your sub right or whatever vehicle you're using so say you are doing this and you know Again, you got the cops on you. They're right there on your tail, and you're going to have an issue. Again, all you have to do is go into your style, as you're about to see me do, and switch your glasses, all right? You see right here, I go down here to the accessories, go to glasses, and it drops it down to two. You know, I wasn't really, I didn't have the, the cops on me that, that bad anyways, but dropping it down to two is much easier with the stars. The cops won't be as aggressive, and then you just kind of wait them out a little bit. As you see right there, it's real simple, real easy. Now, with anything GTA related, right, especially with these heists, there's a lot of moving parts, there can be some weird little glitches and bugs, and I want to show you one of those coming up, and then uh, show you something else if you have issues with the cops too, alright, so sometimes when you're doing this, it doesn't happen a lot, but maybe you'll go to pick up the long fin, and you'll have this particular issue. Don't freak out. It's no big deal. But maybe the long fin is floating up in the air like this right here. Again, don't worry. Just kind of tap the long fin. Kind of, you know, just kind of bump into it. And it will drop out of the sky. You know, you won't have too many issues. And so to show you, because this has happened to me twice, you know. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a low amount of times that this has happened. But, again, don't freak out. It's no big deal. All right. And, again, if you're having issues with the cops, you just can't lose them. Don't worry. It's no big deal. Or if you just want to use this particular method regardless, if you got issues with the cops, just get out and then let them take you out, right? Let them, uh, you know, do what the what they do in GTA. And it's real simple. I'm about to show you what's going to go on here. So the cops take me out right here, right? Ways to just spawn back in, right? You'll see that your, your uh, phantom wedge has been impounded, but the long fin is still there. It's still where you left it, all right? It's just the phantom wedge goes away. You can just steal another semi cab, right? Or you can just go right back and then call your phantom wedge. And the phantom wedge should spawn right next to you. If it doesn't spawn next to you, just simply call it right back. Just go to the interaction menu and call the phantom wedge again. Because you should be, if it spawns real far away, don't, you know, worry about going over there. Just call it back again. And it's easy, right? And again, this gives you so many options on what you want to do. Say you want to go to the compound first, you can do that. Say you want to go to one of the, the ports, the north or the main dock, you can do that. Say you want to go to the airport and the dock, you can do that. Say you want to drop off a couple of players in one location and then go to a different one. You guys meet up, you can do that. It's really fun. I like the long fin. It helps out a lot. It gives you those options. And when we've been banging this heist out, you know, especially last week, good Lord, I know some of you guys made like 20 to 50, even some people said they made $100 million last week on that heist. It's good to kind of keep it fresh and mix it up, all right? So let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming out to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the hills of rose content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah.